This is a little film to show the Arduino version of Taipan that I've built. Um, the game itself is contained within a, a copy of Taipan the book. This is actually a first edition of Taipan the book, but um, I tried reading it and I had no, um, no qualms about cutting it up to actually make the, the housing for this game. The, um, the book is made the same as any sort of hollow book. You um, basically glue the pages together and then cut out the middle bits. The uh, dust jacket doesn't really fit very well anymore, so we can lose that. And take a look at the game itself. So this is the book. It's basically completely self-contained within the book. If we open it up. I left the first few pages intact and then the game is sitting here inside the book. Um, the front panel here basically consists of a, a small video screen. It's a tiny LCD screen that's actually a, a reversing camera screen from a car. Um, you can get those on sites like Deal Extreme for very, very cheap prices. In the middle there's a, a power switch, an RCA socket and a, a recharge socket. The game is actually powered by eight AA NICAD, uh, nickel metal hydride actually cells. And there's a little charging circuit in there so you can just plug it in and recharge it. The, the keypad is custom made. It uh, is laid out the same as a, a phone keypad. So as well as the numbers on the keys, there are actually letters. And the only place we really use those in the game is to, to enter the name of the firm. If we... Uh, Turn this on. It takes a couple of seconds to come on because I I needed delays to be able to sync the, the two Arduinos with each other. One of them is actually running the game and all the logic of the game. The other is running the display using the Arduino TV out library. Uh, the cool thing about this library is that it's actually just outputting a video signal. So we can um, take this RCA cable and plug it in and we can actually display the the graphics for the game on a normal TV so that makes it a bit easier to see what's going on um, the resolution is actually smaller than the original Apple II resolution so I've had to had to tweak things a bit to be able to fit the information on the screen but all the, all the same information is there and the game actually plays exactly the same as the original Apple game um, right down to some of the bugs and quirks in it. The um, code is basically identical, so the gameplay should be pretty much exactly the same. So if we press a key, it'll prompt us to enter our firm name. Now this works the same as on a, on a phone, so to enter a letter you basically press that key the appropriate number of times and it'll cycle through the letters. So if we choose something not very imaginative you can get an idea of how that works um, you can also delete instead of OK or cancel keys or, or other other sorts of keys to select what you're doing um, I actually have a D and an A key and I use that for accept and decline um, also accept and delete so in this case we can if you want to, you can delete letters. So we will enter a suitable name and accept that and the game should start. Um, you basically get given the choice of starting with money or guns. We'll go with guns. Um, this is the main summary screen which you see every time you arrive in a new port. If you press a key it gives you a a shorter version of that screen uh, just with the relevant information that you need for for buying and selling and transferring money to and from the warehouse uh, to the bank sorry or transferring cargo to the warehouse or to your ship um, it's asking us if we want to see the elder brother Wu the money lender but we don't have any money so we can't either borrow or repay any so we'll decline that uh, it tells you what the prices are you then get the choice of if you want to buy or sell. 
Um, we can't really do much at the moment because we don't have any money, so basically we'll just sail around and see if somebody takes a pot shot at us. The um, TV out library also actually provides sound. So what I've done is um, effectively manually copy the original sounds. And I can demonstrate that by saying that I want to go to the same place I already am. And it plays a sound to warn me. So we basically sail around a bit. Um, there are random events that happen during the game. You have storms. You can sometimes be robbed. Um, you get asked to pay money to avoid being attacked by pirates. But we'll just sail around for a little bit and eventually somebody should try and attack us. That's going to be quite boring waiting for it to happen, but... Uh... These are the pirates trying to attack us, but at the moment they're not not really fighting us. But eventually, oops, if we go to somewhere that we're ah, not already at, it's a bit hard to film this and watch the keypad at the same time, so excuse any mistakes I happen to make. So, now somebody's attacking us, so we press a key, we can issue orders. Now that's one of the, the nice little features of the original game. If you're not fast enough issuing your orders, the, the people attacking you will actually get the first shot in. So if you're very quick there, you, you get the first shot. And now we've got some money. Um, the game is basically a, a trading, sailing around, fighting type game. Uh, for an old game, it actually plays very well. It's it's quite fun to play. It's um, it's balanced very nicely, and it actually gets quite addictive. So we can just continue around. We get attacked again. Um, when you're attacked, you can either you can either fight or um, throw out any cargo you've got and try to run away. The fighting is pretty much automatic. You can, you can sort of change orders halfway through and change what you're doing. Um, the number of shots you get depends on how many guns you've got. So after you've fired a whole salvo of your guns, then they get the next shot. Um, your ship takes damage. You can have it repaired if you go back to Hong Kong. Uh, various other things can happen, like storms. Uh, there's a, a chance you don't make it through a storm, and that depends on how damaged your ship is. Uh, you get offered ships with more space, cargo space, so you can carry more. You get the chance to buy more guns. Um, the prices of things can vary randomly, up and down. So, that's basically the game. Um, inside the book, if we unplug that, if I carefully, there's not really anything holding this in, it's just kind of jammed in there, but it can be a bit, a bit tricky trying to get it out. But this is basically the, the game. And there's batteries either side. Uh, the screen is in the top there, and this little circuit board here is actually the the main power board and the recharge circuit. I'm just using a simple constant current charger. Um, so once the batteries are flat, you just plug it in for 15 hours or so, and the batteries will recharge. The um, the main circuit board is this one here, and it's kind of sandwiched with the the keypad board underneath it. Um, but the whole thing's pretty much completely self-contained so it'll switch on again 
Oh, no, I think I've broken it. Well, <laughs> that was the game when it was working. Um, I think I've just knocked a connection loose somewhere. Uh, that's pretty much it.